right, so this video is about how you can make uh, other formations in the line uh, as an alpha clone if you're alone. First of all, uh, I cannot do any anomic agent missions. I tried, but I lost a few hundred million of this. Uh, so let's not try those. I mean, you can if you want to, but I tried and, and I didn't succeed. Okay, so first of all, the fitting. Um, so I have a cap stable ish. You know this here. Um, you can do more most of the missions with this. You know this. So uh, I will try to link the, the fittings. But let's let's go through. So I have a medium ancillary current filter, uh, attack to uh, medium energy collision accelerator, five five six five. Five heavy moderate modulated energy beam, uh, attack one, and uh, I have um, all the medium standard uh, crystals for that, for the different ranges. And um, yeah, as you see, uh, with this radio crystals, I am not cap stable, but I have a uh, 41 minutes uh, cap capacitor, so it's pretty good. The next one, the microwave, which She's shooting at uh, 49 kilometers. This cap stable. Yeah, uh, the radio the range is uh, the maximum range is 55 kilometers. So next we have the infrared. That's cap stable too. 45 kilometers. And then the standard, I guess. Yes, and it's stable too. It's uh, 38 kilometers. And then the ultraviolet, I guess. Yeah, oh, maybe I I change them, but okay. So uh, yeah, it's stable too. Then the um, X-ray maybe it's cap stable too. Thirty-one kilometers. Then the um, the gamma, which is not cap stable, but still forty-one minutes of cap, and um, that's funny. Seven kilometers. So and then the multi frequency, which has only twelve minutes, but you have to be close in close range with this. It's uh, twenty-four kilometers. Yeah. Okay. And also I have a, a droning augmenter, tech one. And then I have an uh, afterburner um, because with the micro warp drive is um, that drains the cap too fast. So. Uh, I, I choose this. Let's see. I have a uh, 384 meters per second. If, if, if it's active, and if it's inactive, then it has uh, 162 meters per second. Yeah, about this Mosis. Um, so it has a fascinating uh, warp speed uh, of 2.7 astronomical units per second. So you spend a lot of time in the warp bubble. And um, let's stay in this mode. Okay, so I have a cap uh, charger tech two, and uh, yeah, I have two of these, so two tech two cap chargers and three uh, medium cap batteries tech two. I also have a power di diagnostic system tech two, a heat sink tech two, which is to be able to. Increase the DPS, I guess. Yeah. No, the rate of fire, but not DPS also. Okay. And this medium ancillary armory repair, uh, which I can load with uh, the uh, manifest. It gives even more um, armor repair. But uh, most of the time I don't use it. And I have uh, one tech to adaptive manipulating. Uh, damage control effect too and uh, reactive armor hardener. So I have a total of um, 31,000 uh, effective HP. Uh, resistances are uh, these values. So I don't use any specific uh, resistances, but so you can if you want to. Uh, yeah, and about the DPS, it's uh, 
451 DPS with the drones and uh, see the drones. I, I use faction um, drones, medium drones, and I have um, the other uh, types too. Uh, yeah, I miss one Imperial Navy Infiltrator because I didn't go to Gita yet to replace it, so until then I have a regular one. Yeah, so I change these according to the missions I'm doing. Okay, and uh, yeah, I have a Mobile Depot and a MTU in case I want to use them, but yeah, it's really rare that I use them. Yeah, and I also use some Light Drones if I need to catch some small ships that, that use bad because they tend to kill my medium drones like the like this one the Imperial Navy Infiltrator I think this is a pretty good ship I mean uh, I'm not perfect in fitting and um, I play EVE Online only half a year ago so I'm pretty new in this game uh, yeah, and I tried um, uh, other cruisers also uh, the cruisers yeah I tried to do some fittings for the, the Marla, but uh, the effective HP and the DPS were uh, both under Magnolis. I tried to use these Navy types, but um, still less DPS. I will stick to the uh, Gnosis, which is which is even cheaper than these fittings because you see, I, I'm not stating that okay, it's, it's uh, obviously not a good fit, but uh, yeah, I think the, this Gnosis is the best I can have. So, in the upcoming videos, I will show you how to do the missions one by one with this Gnosis, or um, if another ship is needed, with another ship, I mean a frig frigate, because for example, for the Rico missions. Um, the crucifier I think it's better than the Gnosis because you can walk off easily if you don't want to deal with the pirates. And about the skills I have. So I have almost all of the skills that are required in combat. Force in spaceship command. Um, I have only the required navigation and uh, yeah, current to train the acceleration, acceleration control because that gives me speed boost. I don't know why I don't have this yet. Uh, engineering is full. Uh, armor is full almost. I mean, I don't need the remote full repair system. But so I have all the skills that are available for the up, up from Results uh, haven't been Omega yet, so it only has the basic skills. It was born in match, so. It's like uh, five months old. Yeah, five months old. Okay, so I hope you find this video useful. Uh, if you have any suggestions, feel free. And um, see you in the other videos.